Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to be unboxing my Universal Yums Super Yum Box. I apologize if I sound a little bit funny. I just got Invisalign. Um, thankfully, I only have to wear it for about 14 weeks, so only a couple months. But just the FYI, that's why I sound a little bit funny. I did have braces twice and I'm just, I feel really fortunate that I could just have Invisalign this time and it just, it feels like, you know, when you wear a retainer, like what it kind of sounds like. So just a heads up, that's like, that's, I hope it improves. I'm just, I just got, literally got it today. So I'm probably not going to try out anything just because I'd have to remove my retainer and I don't want to remove it before dinner because we can really only remove it when we eat. So for the next couple months, that this might be how we do our videos, just kind of depending. All right, so it looks like I already opened it. So this month, this month was Germany. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. All right, so this is everything. And for those of you who don't know, I actually went to Germany, Austria, and Switzerland back in 2019, actually wearing my Innsbruck shirt. This shirt is actually really small for a medium. That's why I actually haven't worn it before this video. It's like an extra small. Like, like mediums like always like fit me. And like, I think honestly, this could be kids or even juniors, but I can fit a junior's medium. This is just, this is really tight for like really, really tight for a medium. So I don't know, maybe they have smaller sizing there, which I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. All right, so we got this uh, cute sticker. Um, I followed a trail of yums in Germany, and a lot of people have been complaining on Universal Yums' like social media, saying, oh, when are we gonna leave Europe? We've been getting European countries all these months. And that's because like right now, um, like with everything going on around COVID, a lot of countries are more restricted. It's really hard, and, and the shipping times are really long. It's getting better um, and there's a lot of companies that do specifically Japan subscriptions are very very popular so if you're looking for Japan like there are so many different countries as you've seen in my videos so many different countries so many different companies doing them so if you want to check them out you know feel free to do so um, okay so I am gonna dive into this box and yeah, so just I uh, just wanted to tell you guys that yeah, so um, they are doing they are doing yeah. So and then this next month, so this is March's box. Uh, April, which we're in April now, is Spain. So Spain is next. And yes, we've been doing a lot of European countries, but you know I kind of like it because. I don't really see like Germany, I don't see a lot of Germany subscription boxes, I don't see like a lot of Spain subscription boxes, They're just European boxes in general. I don't see nearly as much as ones like, I think Japan like has a huge, is a huge competitor in like the subscription market is with Japan boxes. I'm sure there are others too, but all right. So um, we got our booklet. And the first thing we have here, ooh, looks like several big items. I'll show you guys a peek inside this box. Okay. First thing we got here is this toffee caramel popcorn. Ooh. You know, I didn't I don't have braces, thankfully, so I can actually still eat popcorn. Um, I just, you know, I have to make sure I take my retainers out and whatever. Um, so I'm excited to try this. And the next one here is this is what i was really excited about this is the tasty snack pulled pork chip Ooh, this looks really good I'm excited to try that mm -hmm. okay Ooh. the next thing we got here is this erd erdness lips okay so all right so I should tell you guys what I got in here, right? All right. 
Uh, so the popcorn. Uh, adults, this yum is for you. In Germany, sweets and alcohol go hand in hand. Sweet beers like dark, caramelly, dunkel. Then there are sweet li liqueurs, schnapps, anyone? There are drinks for dessert like... I, I can't pronounce it. Echte Pratz beer. A blueberry liqueur and drove with ice cream. Ooh, okay. And then we had the uh, bacon chips, uh, the pulled pork crisps. Uh, you can't visit Germany without a pit stop in Munich for Oktoberfest. That's exactly what I did too. Uh, we did go to Oktoberfest. I'll maybe put some pictures in here somewhere uh, when we were there, which was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'd go again. Maybe. I don't know. It's a lot of drunk people. A lot of drinking. Maybe you're into that. Maybe not. But as an introvert, it was, you know, and there's crazy crowds, which I'm used to. Comic Con conventions and all that. But yeah. Alright. The Folk Festival, now the world's largest, began in 1810 as a marriage celebration between Bavarian royals with the horse race as the main event. Nowadays, it's all about good beer, music, costumes, and plate after plate of Germany's juiciest meat from worse to ham to pulled pork. All right, so consider these mouth-watering and shockingly vegetarian crisps your ticket. Crisps, your ticket to the 16-day celebration. All right, and the next one we have here, uh, it looks like some sort of peanut type of snack. It All right, so peanut butter puffs. Okay, you guys know that candy that's shaped like peanuts. Everyone, a lot of people don't like those. I personally don't. I feel like it's a love it or hate it situation. But I wonder if this is anything like this. I've never seen potato. I've ne I haven't seen any of these snacks like while I was in Germany, to be honest. Um, uh, I think it's more popular in Germany than foosball, aka soccer in the US. Well, that and this yum. Erdnuss flips, peanut butter flips are one of the one of Germany's most popular snacks. The local go-to soccer for fans sitting back to back to watch their favorite team. Ooh, okay, so this is like a sports snack. Oh, isn't that that's pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my retainer out because I am gonna be eating dinner after this. So I think it's gonna be okay. I just wanna try a couple of these things, so. BRB. Right, let's go ahead and try these out. Okay. Mmm. Oh, wow, they smell like a bag of peanuts. Mmm. No. They're like Chinos. They taste like peanut butter. They're honestly not very flavorful. Um, they're a little bland. It's okay. It has a very like mild peanut buttery taste, but it does. It's not very like a strong flavor. All right, let's try these pork ones because I gotta try them. You know. All right, so this is what they look like. They just look like, kind of like. Hmm. I can. They definitely smell like bacon. It definitely smell like mm. Now, those are really good. I kind of like them better than the, the peanut Cheeto thingies. They just taste kind of bland. Not really my favorite. All right, so let's see, let's see what's next in here. All right, here we have some Thomas ketchup fries. I feel like I've tried these before. I have potato sticks, a German snack for anyone who loves fries. I feel like Canada and a lot of places have these. I think even some places in Asia too have these like have these ketchup fries. Um, uh, ketchup fries and currywurst. Currywurst is good too. I, yeah, it's like fries curry and ketchup. That was so good. It's very good. That stuff is so amazing. All right, so this is what it looks like. Mm. Mm. It's not a really 
It's not super strong on the um, ketchup flavor, but it is pretty good. Like, it tastes pretty good. Um, hmm. That's one place I haven't been to. I haven't been to Berlin. And I didn't get to spend as much time in Munich as I wanted to. Um, Alright, the next thing we have here is... Is Wee Bells. It looks like a, like a Funyuns equivalent. Uh, like an onion chip. The Weimar Onion Festival. Originating back in 19, or 16, 1653 as a way for locals to share their onions for winter. It's Germany's oldest folk festival. 157 years older than October 5th. Wow. Cool. Very nice. All right. Try it. I feel like a lot of countries have a variation of these rings. Tastes like onion. Mm -hmm. Right. I had a lot of big items today. Like, big items. Next thing we have here is Stracciatella. It looks like uh, almost kind of like um, marzipan or something like that. Cream filling with chocolate shavings covered in chocolate. So this one, and again, I haven't tri tried any of these snacks. Uh, cool again balls. What's awesome about this yam? For starters, it hails Germany's oldest chocolate factory, Halloran, which opened all the way back in 1904. Secondly, it's by far the factory's most famous creation to date, cherished by sweet lovers all across the country. Thirdly, it's iconic spherical shape. Klugen means globe in German, was designed to resemble the buttons on local salt liners jackets. Ooh, very cool. Okay, so um, next thing we got here is uh, nope, okay. We have the cocoa dusted marzipan balls. Never seen anything quite like that. In Germany, if someone gives you a potato for Christmas, it means they really like you. Well, not just any potato, we're talking about marzipan kortoffen, or marzipan potatoes, which aren't potatoes at all. They're balls of soft, silky marzipan that are coated in chocolate and then dusted in cocoa powder. You can see why they're one of Germany's top gifts. Uh, okay, you can see why we really like you. We want you to have a sack of these potatoes. Yeah, look at that. It looks like cookie dough balls almost. Marzipan potatoes. So I guess that's just what they're called. And again, I haven't tried any of these snacks before. All right, so that's what it looks like. It's very squishy. Hmm. Hmm. I like that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. You can definitely taste like the marzipan that's in there. Okay. All right. So the next thing we have here, and I think this is pretty self-explanatory, but this is the Cocoa Dusted Almonds. German Cocoa Plus Roasted Almonds Pure Bliss. Okay. Mm. Alright. And according to the Brothers Grimm, you should actually be wishing upon something a whole lot closer to home, almond trees. In the tale, the almond tree, a woman heads to the titular tree and wishes for a baby boy, and then it eventually blooms and she gives birth miraculously to a son. Uh, before you dig into these rich chocolate-coated almonds, you may want to quickly Google almond trees near me. We sure, we're, we're sure that you'll be wishing for more. Ooh. I will have to try that. Hmm. All right. Do do do. So yeah, I guess it's like a wishing tree. That's pretty interesting. All right. So the next one we have here is sour cherry cookies. And I think we've seen some equivalent here in the U.S. Um, soft and buttery with luscious German cherry. The giant offers you cherries, say no, and the grim tail, the little valiant little tailor, a malevolent giant 
towers the uppermost branch of a cherry tree into the ta tidal tailor's hand, Suppose supposedly so he could taste the fruit, but when the giant lets go, the branch springs upright and the tailor goes blind. Interesting. So I guess, yeah, some of these just have like a fun little uh, tale about them. Fortunately, the tailor later uses his wits to outsmart the giant. And fortunately for you, there are no giants standing in the way of these buttery cherry cookies. Mm. These are pretty good. Yeah, they look pretty yummy. Mm, okay. So let's uh, move on to the next one. We have the... Uh, this looks like very wintry. The almond... Cinnamon almond cream wafer. Uh, open this yum and your no nose will instantly be transported to Germany's iconic Christmas markets or the Wayne Knox Market. Knox Market. Wayne Knox Market. The country puts on over 3,000 every year. You can always count on stalls brimming with handcrafted gifts with awe inspiring festivals and paper cones overflowing with warm. Uh, Gibrante, Gibrante mandolin, cinnamon roasted almonds. With this yum, you'll find the cozy flavor of, of, and a super crispy, creamy wafer. I feel like it's a little late. I mean, since this, granted, this is the March box, but um, I feel like it's a little late in the year for like, like holiday, like for three months, like three months into um, 2021. But anyway, all right, here's another one I've been really wanting to try. Uh, this is the cookie dough milk chocolate bar. Ooh, that looks yummy. Germans typically only invite close friends and relatives to their homes, so if you're invited for the first time, it's an occasion you'll want to get right. Here's the lowdown etiquette. Handshakes are customary. You should greet everyone in the room, even the kids, and always bring a gift like wine, flowers, or chocolate. Ooh. Fun facts. I don't think we visited any anybody's house while we were there, but that is good um, good to know. I feel like it's pretty common here in the U.S. too. This decadent yum filled with a melt in your mouth cookie dough would be more would more than do the trick. It's one of our favorite chocolate bars in the world. Yes, really. Okay, I'm I'm it looks like it's open. I don't know. I'm gonna try this. Let's try it. It's a pretty big chocolate bar. Yeah. I'm just gonna try a ooh, it's very soft too. Ooh, wow. Ooh, look at that. It's ooh, very uh, a little messy too. It broke off really easily. Like this isn't hard at all. Hmm. It was definitely different than any sort of cookie dough um, chocolate things we've had here. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because I haven't eaten dinner. I don't want to ruin my appetite, so I'm just gonna I just take a bite. Just have a bite. And um, I'll bite my hands. <laughs> okay, that was really good. And of course, I forgot to I for, always forget to do these. But you rank your snacks, and then you vote, and then you choose. Mm, doesn't look like that's on here. Mm. There's usually a spot to kind of choose what you'd like to see next in a that for the next country. Uh, okay, but I, I really like that chocolate bar. It's pretty good. All right. So what is our next? Yeah, Ooh, we have a strawberry rhubarb premium white chocolate bar. So that looks pretty yummy. So for this guy. Mm. All right. Uh, the clone's fruitful take on white chocolate. Some say it's impossible to take a bite of springtime in Germany, but they clearly haven't tried this yet. For Germans, rhubarb is a sweet reward for enduring the country's extra long winters, and locals make the most of the reward. Used in jams, streusels, meringues, compotes, rice puddings, spritzes, and of course strawberry and rhubarb pies, which some believe to have been invented in Germany. And with this yum, real bits of strawberry and rhubarb meat, white chocolate for a flavor sensation that's sweet, juicy, and decadent all at once. Try that one later. Alright, so what is next? Okay. Ooh. 
as funny as you can just had something like this too. Um, this one, who bon bon, milk and butter. Okay. So this one is like looks like a like caramels. Rich caramel made with Hamburg cow milk. You might not know it, but you may have already tried German caramel. Uh, beloved by grannies world, worldwide, these hard caramels were created back in 1903 in the German town of Werther. All right. Made from fresh milk and butter. But these are so good. And I I don't know how hard these are. They, they didn't tell me, like, with my Invisalign that I had to, like, eat anything soft or whatever um that i had to like eat like avoid certain things like with braces so they do have like a little like little teeny tiny brackets that attach to the um retainers but they didn't say that i couldn't eat anything out of the ordinary but just to be safe i might after the three months i might i may wait um eating those all right so <clears throat> the next thing we have here is this puffed rice and creamy milk chocolate bar. Uh, Germany is a creamier take on crunch bars. If you love puffed rice, go Ferdinand Sch Schumacher, son thanks. Okay. From the, this very mill emerged the Quaker Oats Company, the pioneers of puffed rice cereal. Though back then they marketed it as the food shop and guns of peace. As the rice was puffed via pressurized cannon, the yum in your hand is just the latest German puff rice innovation. Mm -hmm. Looks yummy. Okay. All right. So now, oops, wait. We got one more. We got another marzipan bar. Another marzipan bar. Dark chocolate covered marzipan bar. Small city of Lubeck has one very big sweet claim to fame. It's the world's marzipan capital. Back in the 13th century, Lubeck became the capital of an enormous trade in the new known as the uh, Hanseatic League, so enjoyed a steady supply of luxury ingredients like almonds, which were used to make luxury confections like marzipan. Cool. Today, the city's sweet reputation is stronger than ever. There's even a marzipan museum featuring the historical figures made out of marzipan. Ready to taste the treat centuries of Germans ha that have been nuts for. Mm. Yeah. All right, so here's our yum bag. Usually have like truffles. And as we get towards the summer, they kind of, kind of tend to do countries that don't have a lot of chocolate because they melt. Um, all right, so the next one we have here is milk chocolate, uh, cappuccino milk caramels. Um, De Mutlichkeit refers to a state of absolute peace and coziness to what many Germans aspire. With uh, How do you achieve it? With coffee, for starters. Coffee and und Kuchen, coffee and cake, is a local custom. Yes, I was told that by a good friend. It's a local custom where friends gather for an afternoon chat and for some tasty coffee and cake. Ew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't think I ever got to experience that, but that's really cool. All right, and then we have German cola candy. Okay. Uh, during the World Cold War, East Germans couldn't enjoy Coca-Cola because it was seen as a symbol of the West. So in 1957, crafty locals created their own Vita-Cola. It's so sweet and lemony that even now, 31 years after the Berlin wall, wall fell and Western brands were allowed back, several areas of Germany remain among the la least, the last in the world where domestic cola outsells Coke and Pepsi. Mm. I think I remember seeing something like that. And then we have another one. Is it on the book? I think it is. Strawberry and licorice caramels. Ooh, that looks good. On October 3rd, 1990, Germany's separate states were reunited as a single country for the first time in 45 years. 50% juicy and 50% bittersweet. Germans now celebrate October 3rd as Unity Day. Parade, parades, concerts, and fireworks make it easy to get in the spirit of unity. 
glue. Okay. You now I'm gonna see if I can try this. This seems fairly soft. I just have to kind of be careful. Pretty soft. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. 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 That's so good. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Mmm. So last. Last but not least, it's assorted sour fruit candy. Chewy candies and four juicy German flavors. Um, based on, um, inspired by Hansel and Gretel, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover or a house by its cake walls. Sure, the sparkling sugar windows might seem super awesome, but we all know which on what we all know the witch on the other side was well, not super awesome. Keep in mind that this yum. May, it may look plain as you unwrap it, but one two will review succulent bursts of apple, passion fruit, black currant, or grapefruit. Mmm. So let's see what we got. Apple. We got apple, grapefruit, and it looks like currant, um, and passion fruit, and grapefruit. So apple. We got apple, passion fruit, black currant, and grapefruit. Yeah, so we got one of each. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Mm. I'm gonna try this grapefruit one. Oh wow, this is looks like very messy. Look at that. Mmm. Wow. Messy, but that's good. Mm. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that is it for our Germany box. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm kind of glad I came on to try a couple things while I was doing my unboxing. I haven't tried any of these things, honestly, while I was in Germany. Although it was, I did visit Austria and Switzerland all in one trip. It was all in 11 days. So I'm sure I, you know, I didn't spend too much time in Germany at maybe like a couple of days. Um, but I haven't tried any of these things. I've tried some similar things, but definitely I have not tried any of these brands. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying them. What I didn't try, um, I um, wasn't crazy. It's not that I didn't like it. It's just I found the peanut chips to just kind of be a little bit bland. But I do like the smell. Oh, these smell amazing. Um, I um, I do like the concept, but I just feel like it's kind of bland. Um, but I, I will definitely still eat them, not that I open them, but I was just hoping for a little bit stronger taste. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I, you know, really enjoy your, I really appreciate your support. I'm at a loss for words today. I really appreciate your guys' support and um you know being subscribed to my channel so if you aren't already subscribed please make sure that you are subscribed if you like these sort of um, international snack hauls i have all kinds of foodie type stuff on my channel so be sure to subscribe hit that bell to get notified on your way out and give me a big thumbs up uh, that really helps support my channel and i really I'll always just appreciate it appreciate you guys um so yeah thank you so much for watching this video check out um some of my other hauls um some of my other subscription boxes i do a lot of japan boxes as well so check those out and yeah until next time guys i'll see you later Bye.